Is that good? Focus. going on everybody it's your boy Nick here I know a different backdrop we just moved um, today's video is gonna be a little different um, I'm basically gonna be telling you pretty much this is like a video slash message to everyone who knows me personally um, a chance for people to get to know me a little backstory of what's been going on over the past couple months um, I'm going to try and not really have to edit this video, not really make a lot of cuts. It's kind of just going to be a straightforward video. Um, only time I will probably cut it is if I just can't say anything or like, I mean, not going to lie, I might cry this video, so I'll probably cut it then. But, um, so most of you, so let's we'll get into it. I'm stalling. So most of you know that know me, known that I've been in a relationship for the last two years, or basically two years. Um, pretty much what had happened, for anyone that doesn't know, or knows me but doesn't know. So, basically, I went to Jamaica, I would say, like June 7th, I believe, somewhere around there. My girlfriend, at the time, was in college, about to be done with finals, and I'm not going to say her name, by the way. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, Snug, if you are watching this, that's just what I'm going to call you this whole time. But um, basically, we were talking as normal, Snapchatting, texting, FaceTiming as normal. And then out of nowhere, it started to get less and less. And she came back on a Thursday. And we FaceTimed that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and then she left on Sunday for her trip to um, England because that's where her family is. Uh, like, most of her family is overseas. Um, so, yeah, her and her family do that trip, like, once a year. Um, so, basically, leading up to that point, everything was kind of normal. Um, Everything was spick and span, texting, snapchatting, can't waiting for her to get on summer break so we could hang out every day, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then basically while we were both gone uh, for about the same time, like two weeks, maybe like she was gone for like a couple more days later. And we got back two weeks later on the same Thursday. So as like we're both gone, we're both like it's obviously hard for her to like text and FaceTime or whatever, same as me, because we're both like international, so we don't really get like reception like that, but we're still Snapchatting every here and there, yada yada yada. And basically when she gets back, like that night we're both exhausted, so we don't call. Friday happens and um we still don't call. And Saturday happens, still don't call, and I'm like just kind of trying to figure it out like she hasn't really hit me up yet but I'm thinking like it's whatever like not hit me up like that like hit me up as in like hey like when are we gonna hang out or make a plan or something like that and um you know we're not calling so I'm kind of just like you know like what's going on and she's like she tells me um like you know she obviously like like England's eight hours ahead so like she's been passing out at like six o'clock like it's nothing on me blah 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 I'm like okay my little brother's birthday is June 27th. This was on a Monday, I believe. Sunday comes around, or Saturday comes around, and I text her like, hey, like, I know I texted you like a while ago about my little brother's birthday dinner that you were obviously invited to, where it's just family um, on Monday. So yeah, Nikki, of course I'll come, blah, 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 blah. Saturday comes around, I find out like Sunday they're having like a friends only dinner, and she can go. Like, she's invited, obviously. So I ask her, she tells me like, oh shoot, like I'm so sorry, I swore I thought it was Monday. I'm like, no, like it is Monday, but they made a second one j just for Sunday in case you can go. So like, okay, yeah, I'll try. Sunday comes around, she tells me like, she can't go. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like that was the original plan. I'm like, you still go on Monday though? She tells me, yeah. Sunday happens, still no FaceTime though. Monday comes around, we're not really talking at all. Um, I try calling her in the morning. She tells me I woke her up on accident. Um, 
I was like, oh, my bad. Like, I didn't know you were still sleeping. So it's okay, love you. I'll see you soon. 12 o'clock hits. I'm like, hey, Snug, like, I got to get an answer. Like, I need to know whether you're going or not. She tells me, like, um, uh, I'm not going to get into, like, the details of, like, why she said it. Because I, I know. But, like, basically she said, like, her mom was having, like, health stuff. Um, so she couldn't make it today. She had to take her mom in. So I was like, okay, like, that's cool. Tuesday comes around. We text. I ask her, like, what's wrong? What's been going on? Like, what's the deal? What's what's going on between us? She tells me, um, like, she's been going through mental depression lately because she's had that before. Um, her parents were fighting, so she's dealing with that, too. I tell her, okay. Like, I'm here for her, obviously. Like, I'll give her her space. Wednesday comes around. We barely text. Still no call um, since, like, three weeks at this point. And then... Um, Thursday comes around, I send her this paragraph, I ask her what's wrong, she tells me nothing's wrong, um, she doesn't really, she kind of like dodges the reason why we're not texting or FaceTiming as much, or at all texting as much, um, she tell like, we, we have like this side conversation about something we talked about before, and then the music festival Hard Summer is August like 29th through the f September 1st or something like that. I say, like, hey, like, you're still going to remember, like, um, or my bad, it's until August 1st. It was, like, June, July. Yeah, it was, like, July 29th through August 1st. I was, like, hey, like, I bought these tickets. Like, you remember, you remember like, are we still going? She's, like, yeah, of course. Like, I remember the dates. I'm, like, all right, cool. Like, we bought this back in, like, May. Like, I bought it for her. We we're going to go out to some friends. Like, Zach, you guys know Zach. You've seen him in the videos. And I bought it a while ago when, we're, when we were good. And basically, like, it's about maybe a week out before there, um, I get some in, like, I, I, I'm having someone, like, help me out, like, wondering what's going on with her, because she talks to her, I'm not going to say her name, but she talks to her a lot, she's been helping me out, um, basically, like, she's like, yeah, I guess, like, she just wants to be, um, like alone right now like not with anyone i'm like okay cool like why can't that be something she tells me though you know like like as an adult as a couple we're supposed to be going every, through everything together it's like you should be talking to me about it um so yeah so basically um about a week before hard summer i text her i'm like hey like are y'all going to the gym today because like i'm gonna pull up she's like yeah like we're going to the gym um I'll just let you know when to pull up. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, the, that morning, I asked Zach if he can go with me um, to her house because I was going to try one last time to, like, communicate with her. I bought, like, all of her favorite candies, her favorite flowers. I put in a little bag, put up to her house. She does sleep in late, and I did pull up at, like, 930. She normally sleeps, like, 1130, so I thought she was awake. I did end up knocking a couple times. I kicked it out there. I waited. Zach was with me because I knew, like, if it were to happen there, like, that talk, like, I would need him. Uh, shout out to you, Zach, by the way. Thank you. Um, she didn't answer. I was like, all right, cool. Fuck it. Um, we went to the driving range. We were going to go um, Padre game later that day with um, his girl Jen and her homie. Um, and then, so basically before that, I was like, I got another chance. I went to the gym, I waited for them to come out, I pulled up, I said like, hey, blah, 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 I was like, hey, Snug, she says, hey, Nikki, she gives me this long ass hug, I don't expect a hug, or for her to say Nikki, I basically just ask her like, what's been going on, what's wrong, like, is it me, um, she tells me like, she's just confused, and I'm like, okay like I, I was like i was like i literally looked at her like in the eyes i'm like look at me like snug what did i do wrong and she's like nothing and i'm like okay well like is there someone else and she's like no like nikki of course not like you know me of course there's not someone else i'm like then then what's up and she was like i'm just really confused as all. Well. and i'm like i mean after two months or like a month of not talking to me like this is the best answer i'm getting I get like a spur of the moment, but this is like, this is the best I could have done because you're not talking to me. So like, I need something.
And basically, like, she just told me, like, she's confused right now. And I was like, well, I hope you know, like, I still love you. Like, do you love me? And she was like, Nikki, I don't know. And that kind of hurt. Because I was like, this person that, like, I thought, like, I've always been an overthinker. And, like, when I notice the smallest change, or you overthinkers, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. If you see, like, the smallest slight change of, like, text or voice or anything, you kind of start running through all these scenarios in your head. And I've always been an overthinker of, like, okay, like, everyone leaves me eventually, so it's like, why wouldn't this person leave me? And she always, like, reassured me she would never be that person to just get up and leave. And obviously, like, long distance and all that, like, you obviously know there's a chance, like, nothing is solidified. So, obviously, there's always a chance it's going to end, but, like, I thought if it would end, it would end, like, a normal couple where you both just go through it mutually, you know? And... So when this was all happening, I was just so confused and like, literally guys, leading up to this point when it was just fresh in my mind and I wasn't just living with it, like not having her talk or anything, I was depressed. I was crying every day. I wasn't eating at all. And like, I wasn't telling anyone about it. I wasn't telling my parents. I wasn't telling my friends. They knew what was going on, but they didn't know how bad it affected me. And it got to the point where my parents actually, like, noticed that I was, like, depressed. And that's when I just told them what happened. And then I told I told Zach and Kristen and everyone what was going on and how it was affecting me. And literally, I was so depressed, guys. I had to sleep. Like, they had, like, a futon couch, like, in their room. I literally had to sleep there for, like, two days because I just didn't want to be alone. Like, that's that's how bad it was. And um, so fast forwarding back to when I saw her, I was like, yeah, like, don't forget the dates, please, blah, 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 blah. I was like, just just don't leave me in the dark again. She's like, okay, Nikki, I promise. She gave me, a, we gave each other a hug. And then she left. Nothing about Hard Summer. I went to Hard Summer with just, you know, the group that I went with still. She didn't go, no text about it. That was the last time I've talked to her. And at this point, it's been about, like, a month and a half, two months. Um, I just I just don't know what happened for this to happen. Um, I mean, I'm telling you guys because basically I want to say that, like, I've been depressed over the past three months. And it's only gotten harder the more I think about it. That I just don't want to do yet. Is just, you know, get rid of all, like, the memories. Because if some people say keep them. But I know it's just going to hurt me more. Like, taking the pictures out of my car, my wallet. Deleting the, like, 2,500 pictures and videos I have. Of us over the two years and just just officially calling it quits is just something that's going to be the hardest thing but I just before we that's basically what's happening and I'm sorry I'm trying to get like my train of thought back because like I had like a format of how I wanted to do this um basically the reason why I picked up golf I've been doing these golf videos. I've been trying to make it with golf with Zach. Is yes, I, I love the sport now. I've I've loved the sport. Um, I'm addicted. I want to get better. I want to you know be the best that I can be at the sport. But um, I did it as a distraction to not be depressed. But the thing about being depressed is it's it's like. You go out with your friends and you have fun and you're distracted. But then when you come home and you're home alone, it's just you and your thoughts. And that's where it kind of kills me. Um, so just if anyone out there is depressed or like going through some shit, just don't let it bottle up and like eat you alive kind of because that's what I did and that's that's really where I messed up I just let it bottle up until like it just popped and I just couldn't take it anymore 
And um, so find yourself a distraction to anything. You could go out for a walk. You could pick up a new hobby, a new sport, like how I did. Just anything, to be honest, really. Um, but um, before we get to, like, the last part of the video, um, there is a couple of people that, like, I just want to thank. Um, by the way, guys, I don't want you to think I'm doing this for, like, quote-unquote clout or, like, for you guys to, like, sympathize for me. Like, I don't, you know, I'm, I'll probably, like, I might, may or may not even disable the comments for this video. Not that I'm expecting hate, but I don't want people to think that, like, I'm doing this just for, like, the views or, like, you know, this is basically just a giant thank you to everyone that's been there for me. And just one more last message to Snug. I'll go over just, like, the key list of people that have been there for me like day in and day out um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys I'm not gonna lie um, it's been tough but you guys have definitely made it a lot a lot easier to go through I know I haven't gone through like the official um, kind of thing yet and I and I will by the time this video comes out um, I would have but yeah I'm just gonna go through the key list of people and if I forgot Excuse me. If I don't say your name or mention you, I still thank you. I'm sorry. This is just like the key people I remember from like the most recent DMs and messages and the people I talk to most frequently. Um, so sorry if I forgot like your name. So like um, Natalia, Alyssa, Kevin, Jesse, Travis, Yaniv, of course Timmy, Amir, Christian, Natasha, Lauren, Sarah Bell, my big sis Bailey. Uh, you know, my two little shithead sisters, uh, Ange and Roz, Caitlin, Sammy, Evan, uh, my cousins Gilbert and Michael J, my little bro Adrian, obviously my cousin Catherine, and then her, her husband Bryce, you know, Bryce, you're like an older brother I never had, and then, you know, just the, my boys who have been there every single day on Discord, every single day on the FaceTimes, the text. I, I can't thank you guys enough for being there for me every single day. Just helping me out. Especially you, Zach, with you know me dragging you at like 9 in the morning to go to her house. So I want to thank Santi, Cristo, and Zach. Thank you guys. And the two people, of course, I'm not going to forget my parents. Thank you guys. Um, oh, someone I forgot, Jackie. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Jackie. You're like my second mom. You're always there for me as well. Um, but yeah, that's just a list of people that I could I can remember off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, basically, if you got to this point of the video, thank you. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to do this for cloud attention. I'm not trying to, you know, have you guys sympathize for me. I'm just telling you all the truth. I was severely depressed. Now I'm just depressed. I guess if that's what you call it. Or just sad. Um, using golf as a distraction has been great for me. Especially with the the, the supporting cast I have of everyone that's, that's always there for me. Um, if you want to click on this video now, you can go ahead. But uh, this part is for you, Snug, if you end up seeing this video. Um, I want you to know that we're, even if we're done, um, I, I want you to know that this has been the best two years of my life. Um, no matter what, I'll still always be there for you. You can still always call or text me if you need anything or if you know you just need like advice you know I'm here that there's no hard feelings um, I want you to know that I'll still always love you there will always be a special place for you in my heart you'll always be the snug and I'll be the book um, I wish you well on your college adventure and I know you're gonna do good things um, especially with your career um, yeah uh, 
Um, I still don't know whether or not I'm gonna put like a couple like of my favorite clips or like pictures and videos of me and you over the two years or not. But yeah, if you see this, I just want you to know that there's no hard feelings. Um, just, it just didn't work out. How I do Let go of a prayer for you Just a sweet word The table is prepared for you Wishing you got speed, glory. There will be mountains you won't move. Still, I'll always be there for you. How I do. I let go of my claim on you. It's a free world. You look down on where you came from. Sometimes, but you'll have this place to call on. Always. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna, me and Zach are gonna film some some bangers soon for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys for listening. Sorry this has been you know not the typical video that I normally post, um, but I just thought I would send this message out there to everyone um, that's either going through something that you know I'm here for you um, and a message to everyone that's been there for me thank you guys I, I love you guys like I said um, so yeah thank you guys for watching remember to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time peace